afternoon. Thanks for joining us on Spotlight on Douglas County. I'm Donna Spicer. My guest today is Sue Ann Baker. Welcome to the show. Thank you. It's I see you in other places. Here. It's wonderful to have you here. <laughs> you um, have lived in Roseburg for several years. Since 1984. Many years. Yes. Many years. Yes. But you have a fascinating background and mm. probably folks who may know who you are aren't even aware of that background. No. You have the distinction of being one of the very first female Secret Service agents. Yes, I do. Right here in one Roseburg. One of five. One of five. <laughs> five yeah. of us were sworn in together at the same time. Wow. So. And there's a, there's an anniversary year for this. This is it? the 150th anniversary for the Secret Service. Unbelievable. So they were started in 1865. Yeah. And that was a great reason for me to get my book out yeah. today. Absolutely. And you have written a book called Behind the Shades, a female Secret Service agent's true story. That's true. So, oh, how was this? Was it just a well? Obviously, a stroll down memory lane for you. Oh, yes, and it was difficult because mm -hmm. that's forty some years ago, and I didn't. I mean, there's specific things I remembered, sure. but to make details, which my editor always wanted, was more details, dig deeper. Oh, it's like, oh. <laughs> it was hard, but I what I found was that the the more I remembered, the more I remembered. Oh, sure, sure. And then the trigger I, a memory of something exactly. else. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And I spent last summer um, traveling and reconnecting with other female agents. Some of the first five wow. were in Washington, D.C. Mm -hmm. And I went to a conference for federal uh, women in federal law enforcement. Mm -hmm. And um, that was awesome to walk into that room and see 300 women from different agencies at different levels that did not exist when I started. Sure. Because I and the other four women broke a glass yeah, ceiling. You absolutely did. Yeah. I was going to say it was groundbreaking, yeah. wasn't it? Yes. Did they know how to train you because you were women? Mm -hmm. I mean, and what about the standards <laughs> you were held to? Um, no, I think it was um, growing pains on both sides. They didn't know what to do with us yeah. uh, exactly. Clint Hill, Jackie Kennedy's yeah. agent, had often wanted a female agent with him because mm -hmm. it would have been easier with sure. Jackie Kennedy. Sure. So he was a main proponent of having women in the Secret Service. Interesting. And so um, it was it was a learning time on both sides, like I said, yeah. and they didn't always hold us to the same standards. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know. Obviously you you were, you know, did you have the earpiece and the oh, yes. absolutely yes. yeah, yeah. Who were some of the folks that you were assigned to okay. follow? Well the first um, the first year, we weren't actually agents. We were executive protective service officers at the White House, which oh. is now the Uniform Division. Oh, okay. And during that time, they'd pull us out to work with the Secret Service when foreign dignitaries came into the country. Mm -hmm. And so we would help protect the wives of the foreign dignitaries. So, for instance, I, my first assignment was with Lon Knoll of Cambodia, who um, came to Hawaii. And so I helped protect his wife there. Mm -hmm. um, and then Tito from Yugoslavia came and I was really? with his wife during his trip here. It was a state visit. And then ultimately after we became Secret Service agents, mm -hmm. it was 1972 presidential campaign. So mm -hmm. first I was protecting Shirley Chisholm, who was oh, yeah. the first black, black woman, woman to right. run. Mm -hmm. And then after the Democratic Convention in Miami, um, she obviously was not the nominee yeah. and so I was switched to Mrs. Eagleton who was the vice presidential oh, sure. wife of the vice presidential yeah. nominee uh -huh. um, for a short time, yeah. for a very short time and um, then I got sent home for about three weeks and got some rest and then I was back on the campaign trail with Eleanor McGovern. So I was with her for months. I, so. I can hardly wait to read this because I'm sure, <laughs> and I'm sure there's a lot you couldn't put in the book, but watching those personalities yes. and, and so many things yeah. you, you learned. Oh, this is wonderful. You've got it. I want more time. <laughs> Behind the Shades, and it's coming out very, very soon. Yes. You have a website. Yes, it's sueannbaker.com. Sueannbaker, all one word, yes. dot com. All right, yep. for folks who want to find out more, thank you so much for coming thank and sharing. You. It's so fascinating. Thank you, Donna. Have a nice afternoon. I hope you'll join us again next time on Spotlight on Douglas County. Donna's wardrobe was provided by Northwest Lifestyles.